In the last segment, we talked about what electricity is. Remember that electricity is electrons moving in a direction to do some work. But when we talk about electricity, the thing that's really weird is there's like a million different like things. You might have heard of there's amps, volts, watts, ohms, all kinds of weird like things that are they just used for physics teachers to confuse students? But let's see if we can kind of explain each of them. Now, in the last segment, we talked about current. Now, current, as you recall, is measuring something called an amp, and that's the number of coulombs per second. That's like the speed of the river. But the thing that you all have heard of is this thing called voltage. Now, voltage is probably the most confusing thing to understand in all of electricity, I think, because it's like the potential. It's called the potential difference. Potential difference? What, what the heck does that mean? Well, as it turns out, it comes from the word like potential energy, all right? And I think the best way to understand voltage, and you probably know there's nine volt batteries and 1.5 volt batteries and two volts. You've heard of all that stuff, but don't, what does it mean, right? Well, the best way to picture this is to think of a, of a vat filled with water. And at the bottom of that, I have a pipe. All right, and I can turn that spigot on. But down here, I can measure, using a gauge, the pressure of the water. Let's draw two of these, you'll see. So I have two cases, right, of water. If I've got a big tank filled with lots of water, and then it comes down to the pipe, or one that's filled with less water, the pressure on this one would be high pressure, right? And this should be a low pressure. And what's really what happens in a high voltage situation, this has the potential to do a lot more work. If I were to open this spigot, a lot of water would flow out. If I were to op uh, open up this spigot, a lot less water would flow out. So this has a higher potential energy. Now, whether the, the, the spigot is on or off, it has the potential to do the work. So this is like, a high voltage battery, and this is a low voltage battery. Now when we talk about the units on a volt, or voltage, a volt is a joule per coulomb. Now we learned about a coulomb, all right? That's a coulomb per second, and this is a joule per coulomb. Now let's think about that for a moment. The joule is a measure of energy. Okay, the amount of energy. Joule is related to the calories. Like when you eat food, you say, I take in this many calories, this many joules. So this is energy for every amount of, remember coulomb is electrons. That's per like six, 10 to the 18th electrons. So how much joules are there per electron? If you think about it for a moment, right? So that's voltage. Voltage is the potential difference. Well, then there's one more thing. There's, there's, there's we got current, voltage, and then there's a third term that we often talk about, and that is power. Power? Power is a very specific term that's used. So, so someone who's a power lifter, right, you've seen these in the Olympics or whatever, they can pick up heavy weights. But actually, power is more to, has to do with time, too. So uh, you may not know this about me, but I'm an avid triathlete and cyclist. And I actually measure my watts whenever I ride my bicycle. And the watts is how much work I can do, okay, joules, how much work I can do in a given period of time, per second, as it turns out. And I measure my wattage. So someone who's a very good athlete, people much better than me, will have a much higher wattage than I. They're putting out more power per second than I am. Make sense? So, so it also has a function to do with body weight, by the way, in cycling, is if you've got a small person putting out the same amount of watts versus a big person putting the same amount of watts, the small person will be faster because the small person is pushing a lesser weight. So power has a time component, and power is very important in athletics. But a power is, if you will, the amount of work you can do in a second, how much, how much work, meaning how much energy can be produced, and energy is joules per second. Now, here's the thing about electricity that we can put this together. I don't know if you've seen this here, but if you look at a voltage, now voltage is a joule per coulomb, and then we times it by a amp, which is a coulomb per second. 
let's think about this, what happens mathematically? The coulombs cancel and you end up with a joule per second. So if you think about that, this is what joule per coulomb is a volt, so I can say V, times the amp, the current. Now by the way, the symbol for current is an I. I don't know why. <laughs> that equals the P, the power. So sometimes we say P is equal to uh, V times I. So we can calculate knowing the voltage and the amperage, the power, or whatever that might be. So this explains important terms, currents, volts, and power.